Let's see who's going first for this one. Da, da, da. Yeah! Okay, cool. I'll take that. Alright. Here we go. Hmm, okay, I will keep. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy. So while you're doing that, let me spin it around. Alright. So this is fine, of course. And then you're also good. This is exceptional. It may be a touch slow, but in case it is, there's this. And we do have you. I, I feel like that word is going to be literally irrelevant. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what six and a half gives you. Little plus sign there. Here we go. Island into either vial pastern. I will get out one of my handy dandy dice by knocking the lid over for a second. One spot. Okay. Fetch. Shorten with inside. That's good. Whoa. Whoa, little buddy. Time being, if you need to swap it with a sideboard card, I understand. I feel your pain. These yeah, are, yeah, these are dragon shields. They hold. Up. Let me just be a little ad for dragon shield over here now. All right. Well, we're gonna be that guy. This is main board. Last turn. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Jeez. That is a, a legitimate thing that the deck is doing nowadays. And then it was, yeah, that. Here we go. We had 15 minutes of the greatest conversations they will never hear. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. So you'll be on the play? Yep. All right. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. I'm actually not entirely sure that the way that I sideboarded was completely right, because I left in a few copies of a card that's very much not good on the... Well, actually, I think I only left one copy in. Uh, it's not good on the draw. But we'll see. Not gonna matter this game. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm keeping, because... Let me show off the hand for just a quick sec. Ooh. All right. So this is looking pretty nice. This is looking really, either really nice or really bad. And then there's you. Now the reason it could look bad is, and then you, know, you. <laughs> you know, when you when you consider it as a five card hand, eh, not so great. And then there's you. <laughs> All right. So so much love for that card. So much love. <laughs> and then there's you. I mean, you gotta that. have it. That that last card is pretty important. You gotta have something in that slide.
there we go, your hand was on the bottom. Wada, W A D A, Wada. Stay fresh, stay hydrated. Sure. Alright. Get in and go into file. Sure. Alright. That's a thing. Uh, we're going to play an island pastor. Didn't fetch. Maybe wants that land. Okay. Blip. All right. Whale. Whale. What are we getting chocolate cheese? That's adorable. Cats and dogs. So cute. Alright, my friend. Boink, 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 boink. Ooh, okay. Right on time. Or summoning sick lands. Hmm. Nettle Sentinel. You know, that's fine. Go ahead. Alright. Merfolk! Woo! Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get started with a Lord of Atlantis. Hush Tart. Yeah, he man. Force of Will, mm -hmm. pitching Curse Catcher. Here. Two. Come at me, bro. Okay. Good. I was wondering if you were going to flash it back, but I see Nettle Sentinel and Heritage Druid. That's a good reason to keep it. That is a good reason. Play Immutable. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to go into another Lord of Atlantis. Alright, and see if I'm going to offer you the two for one. Yeah, <laughs> that never works. Alright, man, pass the turn. They are going at it over there. Yeah, that's an abrupt decay. How much I can do there? Uh oh. Three. Gotta take it. Do it. Alright. <laughs> they can't see what's going on. Alright, so, play an island. Activate Mutable. Crash in for five. Yep. End of turn stops being a dude. Pass turn. This is how, when you think elves versus merfolk, when you think of elves, this is what you think of. Heritage Druid beat down. Although I think it's about to get nastier. I'm just going to go out on a limb and guess that. Alright. 
No. Oh, you're tapping it for... It's, it wasn't supposed to have been untapped. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Good catch, good catch. Sorry, I missed that. All right. Three fourths in hand. I do, yes. Tres, senor. <laughs> that poor middle card. Can't be chalice or else that would have been played. Yeah, if I had a chalice, I would have jammed that at the first opportunity. Chalice would have already been played. The other artifact would have already been played. Craft acres? Yeah. No. Not craft acres. Um. Mm. Tap to flash something in. Oh, either Bob. Either Bob, yeah. Yeah. Either Bob would have been played here. Really don't know what All right. I'll take two. Let's turn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If you were thinking of Cabal Therapy shenanigans, yeah, it's just at this point it's hard to know what to call because everything you would have everything you would everything I would want to call you would have played. Right. And then that comes off the top. I'll just let you know. Yeah. All right, swing five. Yep. Yeah. And then pastor. <clears throat> so now that cabal therapy won't do anything anyway. At least there's no island walk. You're not a list with the one tropical mm -hmm. island for Leovold or anything like that. So. Are you sure? Pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now you've got me with Doubting Thomas. Alright, here we go. Okay. This will be fine. Bounce it, play it again, so that it's untapped. Uncounterable, because that matters. Silver, Silver Gill Adept, who's been stranded in my hand, reveal Master of the Pearl Trident. Mm -hmm. Realize that I have mistapped my lands. Mm -hmm. Oh well. In that case... Oh wait a minute, no. This is why we're doing that. Swing five. It's still not correct, I think, but at least there's somewhat of a reason. Block, um, activate. Yep, here we go. Take two. Yep, uh, just the two. And then pass turn. Results. You, you know one of the cards in my hand. Now I'm really gonna regret misplaying that. Oh well, what do you want to name? Master of the Pearl Trident. And then double force of bullets left. Yeah. yeah. I can't flash back. If I had played that correctly, you probably would have just named Force of Will, I imagine, yeah. and taken both of them. So, in I a way, they were calling Force earlier, though, because I've had that card in hand. I've had both of them in hand for a while. That's why I forced. I had three forces, yeah. and I figured if I let you resolve it, you were going to three for one me. Yeah, Force was being the first call. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when you didn't have Wild or anything. In the blind, that's the vast majority of time the right play. Alright, so what do you say from here? 
Now I've got a Deuterino to block. You have played the Nettle Sentinel. Right, you have yeah. not played a land. Where on earth is Cradle, man? Cradle, the real MVP. For me. Uh, Got it. Alright. I mean, I guess. Lord? Mm hmm. Uh, activate? Mm hmm. I would like to go to combat. Okay. Rawr! Swinging in for 11. 3, 4, 4. So this one can get through, but if you want to, if you don't mind fetching, not fetching, I mean. Oh, okay. So now, Nunia. Let's see, Abrupt Decay Shenanigans, or just another Dried Arbor, that works. That one's three. Yes, three, four, four. So, four, three, four, four, three, three. Little Lord over here. Who says you can never be royal? There's my dad joke, I guess. Locked so, four damage, we won't keep the air destroyed. Okay, so this lord gets shrekt, mm -hmm. shrekking the two of them. Trading all, all over there. Alright. And, yeah, that'll do it. Pass turn. No, that's right. It'll, yeah, uh, this one, one is getting... One from that. Yeah. Yeah, since this lord gets to hang around. You still had to do it to stay alive, though, so... I don't... No. You're not dumb. Game. Yeah. Whatever you play down, I can force down. Um, so cyborg, obviously, <laughs> Graph Digger's Cage. No kidding. Um, let's say 4-4 stack. 1 GTA, but that's actually main board. 2 chalices, but those are actually main board. Uh, dismember. Real, real workhorse over here. <sighs> Showing up. Um, Submerge, which is, I guess, sort of a free time walk against you, just putting a creature back. Uh, Warping Whale, which not only counters Natural Order and Glimpse of Nature, but deals with all of your elves that aren't named Nettle Sentinel. And there's another Graph Diggers, and that's it. So two chalices in the main, cards I took out. Now this may be completely wrong, I took out two Harbingers, because they don't deal with, um, I mean, on it, uh, with an ether vial, maybe, but otherwise they're not going to be useful when the crater hook comes down. That's all going to be lethal, most of the time anyway. Phantasmal is usually your, take, your creature you side out anyway. It's the least impactful and it's the most reliant on everything else, and it's the one that gets Shrek the most easily. And then one copy of Days. I could have taken the other Days out as well. Maybe I should have, actually. When you're on the draw, days is just so much worse. Uh, but against a combo deck, it's still fine. Albeit a mana-intensive combo deck. And that's it. That's how we did it. How about you? How'd you uh, sideboard for this one? As the dogs Way are... too heavily. Do oh. Well, yeah, the therapies usually are fine in this kind of match. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say to that. Put all you back in here. Hold up. Warping the hole. Oh. Too heavily. Oh, yeah. Surgical. I'm afraid this probably isn't the match for that, even though therapy and thought seeds kind of incentivize it. Other than that, I don't dislike it. You know, when you're on the play, thought seeds and therapy are fine, and you have enough creatures you can legitimately flashback therapy if I don't get the cage. And Abrupt Decay, easiest in in all of history, 
Red Sage is right up there too. Probably not the extractions though. Alright. I mean, because there isn't that much hand attack, they're still fine for the sideboard for reanimator, but I don't know that this one really gets really needs it. <laughs> 